Hey guys, welcome back to Now I Know. Uh, in one of the previous video, we had discussed about the molarity calculations, how to do molarity calculations. We had seen how you can prepare different types of solutions having different molar concentrations. So molarity is also a type of, you know, uh, to express the concentration of a solution. Now in today's video, we are going to see one of the calculation, lab calculation that we routinely use is the percentage solution how you can prepare different types of percentage solution so let's begin today's video now when we are dealing with the percentage solution first thing that we should be cleared about is percentage solution can be given either for a liquid or for a solid that means you might have seen in protocols when you're working with that it is uh, volume by volume or weight by volume that means if you're preparing a solution with two liquids you know you have to prepare solution with two liquids say for example you are taking some uh, gel loading dye and you have to make a certain percentage solution so there you have two liquids to deal with that is the volume by volume that's what it means that means you have to mix two liquids to get your desired percentage or it can be a solid solid means you have to weigh your solid substance and you have to mix it or dissolve it in your desired solvent and that will be expressed by weight by volume weight for your solid substance and volume for your liquid solvent so that's uh, what we are going to see in today's video we will see some examples where we deal with two liquids and also we deal with solid plus liquid so let's take a few examples okay so let's start uh, first with volume by volume that means dealing with two liquids the first problem says 5% prepare 5% solution of loading dye volume by volume in brackets 100 ml you need 100 ml of gel loading dye having 5% concentration now before I go on and show you how to do this uh, calculations one thing that I want to tell you is when you look for percentage the simplest thing is percentage is nothing but that particular amount you're talking in 100 that means if 5% means 5 gram or 5 ml in 100 ml alright if I say I want some solution of 5% you will take 5 ml or 5 gram and make it up to 100 ml it is always in 100 ml percentage is for 100 ml if it is 2.5 say for example that means I am taking 2.5 in 100 ml okay now let's see how to do the calculation so here it says 5 percent solution of gel loading dye 100 ml that means I would take 5 ml of my gel loading dye in total of 100 ml that means 5 ml of gel loading dye and make it up to 100 ml since it is a liquid it is 5 ml you have to make up to 100 ml so I would take 5 ml of gel loading dye plus 95 ml of distilled water or whatever solvent you are making your uh, solution in so you have to take 5 ml of your gel loading dye and make it up to 100 ml with distilled water or whatever is your solvent is now say for example instead of this you know you can do this with any other unit also say for example instead of 100 ml I had to make only 100 microliter I needed only 100 microliter of solution what I need to do is I'll take 5 microliter right you just need to change your unit you take 5 microliter of your gel loading dye make it up to 100 microliter with your solvent so I need a rest of the amount that is 95 microliter if I mix this I would get 5 percentage solution of my loading dye let's take you know a little more complex example now this is also one of the common solution that we need to prepare in lab how can we prepare 250 ml of 70 percent ethanol first look at this the concentration we need is 70 percent so as I mentioned before always whatever percentage is there it is in terms of 100 if you remember it's easy so for 100 ml if I have to prepare I'll need to take uh, 70 ml of ethanol now here how much we need we need 250 ml so for 250 ml how much do we need to take ethanol so therefore 250 into 70 divided by 100 so that gives me answer of 175 ml of 
ethanol. So I will take 175 ml of ethanol and make up to 250 ml, right? Because we need 250 ml. So rest of the amount that would be 75 ml. I would mix with distilled water. So when you mix 175 ml of ethanol with 75 ml of distilled water, you you get 70% 250 ml ethanol. Now there's another way also you can do this. That is. You can look at here, you know, uh, for 100 ml you need 70 ml. Here the scaling up from 100 ml is to 250 ml. That means the scaling up is 2.5, isn't it? When you multiply 100 with 2.5, you get 250 ml. So scaling up is 2.5 times, right? So 100 into 2.5 gives me my 250 ml solution. So 70 that is what we need concentration so that all that also i need to scale up so 70 into 2.5 is equal to 175 so 175 ml of ethanol rest distilled water i find this method more easy you know that i take for 100 ml how much i know then i will look what amount they have asked for uh, that becomes uh, easier for me. You can do it either way. You are going to get the same answer. Let's take one more example for volume by volume and then we will move to weight by volume. The next example says make 200 microliter of 10% volume by volume glycerol solution. It is microliter uh, as we just discussed in the beginning. Uh, unit can be changed ml or microliter need not worry. It is going to be the same thing. Say for example if it was in ml we would have taken 10 ml in 100 ml isn't it instead of that it is microliter so 10 microliter in 100 microliter that means you just make it up to 100 microliter so for 100 microliter you would have taken 10 microliter of your glycerol and make up to 100 that now here it is 200 microliter simply if i want to you know just do it by the second method i have to scale it up to double it is double so for 200 i would be needing double of this 20 microliter so i would take 20 microliter of glycerol mix it with 180 microliter of distilled water that would give me the 10 percent 200 microliter glycerol solution right for 100 microliter i need 10 microliter simply scaling up double times so it is 200 microliter of solution that we need to prepare. So we will take 20 microliter and make it up to 200. That means 180 microliter of distilled water that would give me the 10% concentration. So now let's see some examples of weight by volume. Okay, let's start with the very basic uh, problem. We have to prepare 5% solution of tris 100 ml. Okay, prepare 100 ml of tris solution of 5% concentration weight by volume of course. So of simple 5% is 5 grams in 100 ml directly 100 ml only we have to prepare. So I will take 5 gram of tris and dissolve in 100 ml of distilled water that would give me the 5% concentration or if I write it this way 0.5 gram tris in 10 ml. Would this change the percentage? No, right? Because we are just scaling it down. 5 to 0.5%, 100 to 10 ml. The concentration remains same. That means it is only 5%. If you want, you can just, you know, do the step-by-step uh, -step calculation. That's what we did over here. You would get the same answer. So as simple as that, you know, 5%, that means 5 gram in 100 ml. Let's uh, take a little bit more complex example and see. So we need to make 250 ml of 10% NaOH solution, weight by volume of course. So it is 10%, as simple as that. 10% means for 100 ml, how much I would need? I would need 10 gram, simple. We need to prepare 250 ml. So for 250 ml, how much NaOH do we need? So this would be 25 grams. So I would take 25 gram of NaOH in 250 ml that would give me 10% concentration. Alright, so in this example it says make 0.3% and 3% of NaOH 20 ml solution. We have to prepare two different concentration 0.3% and 3% of NaOH 
of 20 ml solution so the same thing for 100 ml say for example if we are doing it for 0.3% for 100 ml we need to take 0.3 grams of NaOH right we need to prepare how much 20 ml so for 20 ml how much do I need to take 0.06 grams of NaOH in 20 ml of distilled water so that gives me concentration of 0.3%. The second example says prepare 3% of the same solution 20 ml. So for 3% for 100 ml if I have to prepare 3% I will take 3 gram. Instead I have to prepare 20 ml. So for 20 ml how much do I need to take? So that is 0.6 gram NaOH in 20 ml if I take I will get 3 percentage concentration and if you look at it this way also there is 10 folds difference right 0 0.3 to 3 percent so the answer is also 10 point difference 0 0.06 to 0.6 so that's it percentage solutions I feel are one of the most easiest one to calculate now most probably next week we will see how to prepare different types of working solution from your stock solution which can be expressed in terms of percentage in terms of molar concentration or sometimes it is expressed certain x concentrated 10x 100x and you have to dilute it down to your desired concentration how you can prepare various types of working solution so that's all for now i hope this video was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i will see you next time until then keep learning